Hey everybody, this is Polio Jr. And in today's video, we are going to see which operating system uh, starts up the quickest. Uh, so on my computer, I have Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. And these are all on separate hard drives, but they're all of the hard drives are SATA hard drives, and um, they basically have all the same bandwidth. So the biggest difference between these hard drives is just the size of them, but that will not affect uh, the speed um, of the hard drive. Uh, all have every hard drive has been set to best performance, and to give the newer operating systems the benefit of the doubt. Um, not a lot has been installed on Windows 8.1 or 10. And they also, um, so everything has been set for best performance and Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 uh, are actually fresh installs as well. So the hard drives have been formatted and then they all, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 have, um, you know, brand new, uh, operating systems on them that were just installed so which should speed it up even more but that being said we are going to go through the list and see which one um, boots up the quickest um, with basically all the same hardware so we will start with Windows 7 After, as soon as I click it I will hit the timer and we'll see how long it takes to get into Windows 7 and be able to start using it so we click it we start the timer and I'll pause it and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so at the moment we are at 50 seconds uh, after hitting Windows 7 on the main screen. And it looks like, so I have three programs that open up a Windows 7 and I'll just go right to <coughs> Chrome because uh, I am loading um, my internet security, uh, Google uh, Drive, and uh, one other program. So um, it only took it about uh, 40, about 45 seconds to get into Windows, and we're just seeing how long it takes to actually be able to open up a program. So as it's loading, you know, background services and uh, programs and all that good stuff. So as soon as Chrome is actually open, there we go. One minute, 45 seconds and done. So now we will start with the next one. So we'll go to Windows 8.1. So one minute and 45 seconds to be able to open up a program in Windows 7. Okay, so we are back at the uh, <coughs> loading screen here, and we are going to load Windows 8.1. I'm doing my best with the camera here. Let's hit 8.1 and hit start. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pause it, and then once we get into uh, 8.1, we'll see how she looks. Okay, <coughs> so it's about one minute and five seconds to actually get into uh, Windows 8.1. And now we're going to see how long it's gonna take to get to, to actually open up Chrome. So I'm clicking Chrome. And like I said, granted, uh, you know, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 are fresh installs. So there is a little bit of, so that took one minute and 40 seconds to actually be able to open up um, an application, you know, a program or application uh, in Windows 8.1. Um, but like I said, we're giving 8.1 and 10 the benefit of the doubt um, for having fresh uh, installations. So now let's go to the last one and see how um, see how Windows 10 loads. So let me restart and we'll repeat the process. Okay, so we're back at the loading screen 
and we are going to do uh, Windows 10. And let's see how that goes. Okay, start. And the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to pause the video here. And we'll see how long it takes to actually get to the desktop. And then we'll see how long it takes to actually open up, um, you know, a program or application. So we <clears throat> are currently past the one minute. We're at one minute and 17 seconds uh, to get to the desktop. Uh, and still waiting for Windows 10 and like I said before this is all off the same computer so it's all the same pr processor uh, same amount of memory and the only difference is uh, the size of the hard drive but all the bandwidth of the hard drives are um, pretty much exactly the same and one minute and 47 seconds to actually get to the desktop on Windows 10 and we're gonna go right into it well we can't because everything is not loaded here so we can see that there that the clock is not available and Windows 10 was actually like I said this was just installed um, on this hard drive so this is a this is a fresh installation and so now I can see Internet Explorer or Internet Edge can't click on it yet, but let's see. Sorry about the camera here. All right. Okay. Two minutes and 37 seconds to actually be able to use that, to use Windows 10. So we're seeing as far as loading time uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 um, are almost identical um, but I would say that if Windows 7 um, was a fresh install then we would have seen a big difference so um, I've had a Windows 7 installed on that hard drive for um, a couple of years now and I think the last time I for, uh, the last time I formatted that hard drive was maybe um, maybe about six months ago. And Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, um, I have I've barely even used since I did install the uh, those operating systems uh, recently for a different video. So what I'm going to do is just uh, see how it looks on. Uh, we'll put it into uh, an Excel sheet and see how it looks from there. But so the final numbers, or I don't even need to do that. Let's just, uh, let's go over to uh, Notepad here. There we go. You know what? Now let's go over to WordPad. Okay, I'm being a little lazy here and just trying to get everything into one file. So I'm still, <laughs> still using the phone. Uh, so here is, uh, this is to sum it up here. So Windows 7, uh, the loading time to get to the desktop was about 45 seconds. Windows 8.1, it took a minute and five seconds. And Windows 10 took a minute and 47 seconds. And once again, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 are, um, are completely uh, brand new operating systems. There's no you know, BS on it. There aren't a lot of programs installed on it. Uh, every operating system has been set for best performance. So, um, so I would say even though Windows 8.1 has a five second lead to open a program at 140 compared to Windows 7 at 145, keep in mind that Windows 8.1 is a fresh install as well as Windows 10 being a fresh install. Now, uh, a lot of people are still having issues with speed as far as Windows 10 goes. And that has to do with just because Windows 10 is such a piece of crap. A um, couple cool features, but if you were to um, put Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 um, on your computer 
um, you know, get rid of Windows 10 and put on 7 or 8.1, you would see a dramatic difference uh, in speed. So um, this was more just an informative video. Um, I like doing this kind of stuff. So um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the winner is definitely Windows 7 since it is not a fresh install and has uh, quite a few programs and uh, services starting up, starting up in the background. So um, a five second delay, um, you know, a five second loss to open up a program compared to 8.1, you know, is absolutely nothing because Windows 7 is all I use and Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, um, I only use to test out different things. So uh, I think we have our answer here and Windows 7 is still the, the fastest, is still the quickest um, and it's definitely, and this is actually um, how this is placed is in the order in which um, operating system uh, I would have. Um, so I would, have Windows 7 over Windows 8.1 and I would definitely have Windows 8.1 over Windows 10. So once Windows 7 um, is starts to become uh, out of date and not supported by Microsoft anymore, um, you will definitely see me using uh, Windows 8.1 uh, over 10 any day. And when that time comes, when Windows 10 or when Windows 8.1 is not supported anymore, uh, hopefully uh, there'll be something much better than Windows 10. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate your time and enjoy the rest of your day. See you in the next one.